Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Well, with Windows 8 now released to the public and available, many people who have Windows XP, Windows 7 are wondering if they should upgrade or not. Well, you can check your PC to see if there's any compatibility issues. Microsoft has this little utility, the Upgrade Assistant, that you can download from their website. I'll put the link below. And I've gone ahead and done that. I've downloaded it. Never did anything to this uh, Windows 7 Ultimate PC that I have here running and uh, I'm going to run it for the first time as is on this machine that I have not prepared for Windows 8. And we're going to see what it does. Okay, first time I'm running it right now. It's running and it came up with, let's see here, checking apps and devices. Let's see, hopefully uh, all my stuff is compatible and good to go. Nope, there's a few. 33, okay, 33 are good. Only six that it found uh, need some attention. Okay, so install an app. To play DVDs. Okay, so we might need the uh, Windows Media Center on Windows 8 to play DVDs. Secure Boot, don't really use that. The second one. Asus AI Charger Plus, that's from my USB 3.0. I'm sure they'll have some upgrades later for Windows 8. Daemon Tools, same thing. I'm sure they'll have that upgraded. Camtasia, I got an older version, so no wonder it doesn't work. Have to reinstall it on Windows 8, fine. And Fraps, they've got a new version for Windows 8. So no biggie, no biggie here. I'm, I'm good to go, really, for Windows 8 with... Uh, with what they're saying. Now, um, I went and I clicked on the more info for the DVD thing just to see what it had to say about why um, there's, you know, need for attention there. So it looks like, uh, yeah, I need to install the um, uh, my own third party app to play DVDs or use the Windows Media Center. That's fine. Now, if we continue through this uh, upgrade assistant, now uh, it asks you a few questions. So what would you do? What would you keep? And obviously I would keep uh, all my Windows settings, personal files and apps. So then it suggests that I upgrade to Windows 8 Pro, and then it gives you the price tag and an option to order it. So there you go, guys. If uh, you're thinking about uh, upgrading to Windows 8, you might want to run this, see uh, what uh, is the outcome. Let me know if you ran it. Post your comments below. And again, thank you for watching.